Hi, this is T. Payton, and I wanted to show you a little tip today about lining up multiple layers, so to speak, in Final Cut Pro 10 when you need them all to end at the exact same point. So take a look at this timeline. This is me. Um, a lot of the work I do, I ended up making a whole bunch of little titles. I'll maybe get one right and duplicate it just the way I want it and then I'll adjust it to, to go with the music or go with the titles, depending on what I'm doing. And then what I end up with is something like this. And I realize I need to cut all these off just at this right time. And how do I do that? So now one way to do this would be to select all these guys and hit Command B, which would blade it. And then I could select these and delete them. Oh, okay, that works. It's a little bit of a drag. Look at how many titles I gotta do here. Um, for that. Now, the other way to do it is if I select this guy here, I should be able to option bracket, which will tail the clip. Well, that's fine. Unfortunately, I can't do that for multiple clips. Try to tail that. No, I can't do that for multiple clips. Uh, kind of a drag. Um, I could go this way. This is what I actually have been doing. I've been selecting this and then shift X. Shift X, Shift X, okay. That works too, it's a little bit of, you have to be pretty precise about that. Um, however, there's another way to do it, which is kind of neat. Um, tailing it is the right idea, but look at what happens here. If you don't select anything, just leave the little white ball, you know what you can do, that will automatically select that. So here, let's zoom in and check that out. So let's go right here and we're going to say, okay, we want to um, tail this first one. Tails it. Great. Wow. What, it would be great if there was some way that it, that little ball could fall down to the next one and you could just do them all together. Well, actually it can and it does. But one thing I've done, look at what happened here. I'm in the middle of a frame because Final Cut Pro 10 is a, is a sub frame editor. It, the, the frames are what a video clip needs to stick to, but audio can be anywhere. Therefore, the playhead can be anywhere. And I happen to be tailing something that was on when I was in the middle of a subframe. So in this case, notice it doesn't even tail to the playhead position. It tails actually to the end of the frame. Okay, so that's our little key. Watch, if I move ahead to the edit point, okay, and now let's go ahead and stretch this out. I'm going to deselect everything. Now I'm going to tail. Oops, sorry. Now I'm going to tail. <gasps> the ball moves. Beautiful. So check this out. Look what we can do. Now we can go along here and don't select anything and just move to the end and tail it. Oh, but that's a problem. Look, this guy needs to be extended. Uh, what do we do about that? Well, here's a way you can go around that. And because of the magnetic timeline, you can kind of mess up your timeline for a moment. It won't really be messed up and come back and fix it. Let me show you how to do this. So we want to do this entire sequence here, uh, cleaning this up. Let's look at the longest clip we have. It looks like it's about 20 seconds long. Okay, so let's select all our titles. Now, if you have a whole bunch and you're thinking, how am I going to do this easier? Go over here to the timeline index and just hit select all and you've got them. Okay, then command two and then control D and let's do 20 seconds. Okay, now you might look at this and go, wow, this is, a, this is a total mess. You know, what's going on with all my titles? Well, rest assured, that's okay. Just follow the procedure. So let's go ahead and close our timeline index so we can see this a little better. And now again, think about what we're doing. We're gonna move ahead to this first clip, have nothing selected, option bracket, 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 slice it, great. Let's go to the next one. End of this clip, bracket, bracket. There's four there. Okay, this one has four again. And you can go ahead and hit it more times <laughs> if you need to. If you want to clip the um, shot underneath it also, you can do that. But look how, look how fast I can do this, that's crazy. So look, now they're all cleaned up and just what I needed. So remember the trick is to not select anything and to make sure that you're using some kind of keyboard command, 
opposed to your mouse, because your mouse, you're going to be able to be at the subframe level, and the keyboard command, you're going to make sure that you get right at the edge of a video frame. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs>